lot. There's still a uh, yeah, a few things to go, but I haven't opened this DV van since I moved to this property, which is now what is that? Three or four months now, I think. So I think the day today is got to remove that tape because I put the tape under there because it's got nothing to hold it. It's got no key lock in there. Got to get a new one. Open the doors and remove. Oh my goodness, too much stuff. Even more stuff. One second. I <laughs> see when you move, you don't have a lot of choice in as far as um, uh, having everything straight away neat at your next property. You just gotta stack it in there until you can make room. And I got this big cupboard because there's no real cupboards in the shed to help hold things, a lot of stuff. So I'm going to start taking out whatever's in the divvy and uh, airing it out. But like I said on the dash cluster video for the XR6, which is out there, um, I am going to be getting into the divvy as soon as the XR6 is fully finished and ready to sell. And uh, I miss working on the more classic car. Uh, as much as I do like the FGs, hence why I bought a Ute, um, I do like the classics. Uh, I still got to, on this one, I got to make the um, metal door cards that go in here. They're just out of sheet metal. I still got to, at the very back of um, where there's that divide and needs another section that goes down the bottom and goes on to that middle uh, floor where just above the petrol tank goes so there's a few things i'm gonna first remove all this stuff out of the divvy so i guess i haven't got rid of the xr6 and i'm still working on the divvy in some way in some respect i'm i'm getting it prepared now so i'll just uh come back when i have this almost gutted i guess yeah, so i got to this stage um, put a lot of stuff out and I still got a lot but what I'm going to do is just leave it at this stage because I just really don't have too much room um, I'll wait until my XR6 ute down there is out and then uh, I'll start stacking what I've got left inside here out there so then it's back to being Fully empty, but this is just another look inside the 93 XG4 Divi van. So that's what I mean. I've got to do another, I've got to do a metal section that goes from there to down the bottom. So yeah, they're interesting uh, the way they built them back then. That's why I take even a bit of pleasure. Not for what they were used for, but just the nostalgia of um, the classical or classy, classy Divi van. The one that was really a um, a uh, temporary prison cell, really, with proper steel. Like if people were punching or kicking that, they'd feel it for sure. So, yeah. There's the console. The headlights ready. For the CB stuff so yeah I'll once I've fully got this and then start working on it again I'll join this video to again the starting of uh, working back on this classic machine which I have missed um, working on a lot so yeah that's uh, we that's where we're at at the moment. Okay, so going outside, I've got the Divi van just under a car cover. And I'm getting her prepped for a new exhaust on the 18th of this month. So I'll do a bit of a video at the place, I think, if, I, if they allow it or not. But um, I thought I'd just do a bit of a video of her with nothing inside. So, well, 
pretty much pretty much nothing inside. Um, I've pretty much gutted it at the back, which is good. Made room. And um, I've got the seats in the front temporarily. They're not bolted down just with some um, rugs over the top because they're pretty much mint condition, brand new original seats. And um, yeah, as you can see here, just got some covers on the seats, but it's got a bit dusty over the time for being closed up, but dust is easily removed. And um, yeah, just just the whole getting back and looking at the work I've done on her. Um, yeah, when you start, you, you do get attached to the things when you um, start working on them and, um, you know, a bit of you goes into them and stuff like that. Um, so this is all the, this was a original Divi van and all the original part, um cage and that front section with um the divider is all the original uh parts out of this divi van um where you see the mirror tint it's bubbling and stuff like that i'll probably remove that and fix that up or do see if i can get the bubbles out um but that was just when i got the the cage in there, I, that, I put that uh, Perspex and mirror tint on there. That was just a hole there. I don't know what they originally had. I'm still trying to source um, pictures of what they uh, did have in between. Um, but, yeah, I've, I've just filled that in with uh, Perspex glass and um, some mirror tint. This is uh, just looking at a police... Um, dash cam thing that I got that from England and um, that has a whole recording system and everything that needs to be wired into it and stuff like that just for you know driving around with the divvy van this is obviously looking back inside the engine bay it's a grass when you lift I mean it looks a bit rough and tumble on the outside because the paintwork is not up to scratch yet but obviously if you looked at my previous videos on the work I've done to it, um, yeah, it's pretty much all excellent underneath and in the engine bay and stuff like that, all the dash is done, um, yeah, so, yeah, it's grass looking back at all my previous work that I've done on it, um, yeah, I've got a few Vic Pole members, um, watching my channel as well, um, if you're a new recruit, in the Vic Pole, this was one of the classic Divi vans back in the day. So if you haven't seen one, hopefully my restore goes um, well enough for... Um, might even bring it to the Vic Pole Police Museum and stuff like that for a bit of a show once she's totally finished. But yeah, this was a bit of a small video just to say that I am getting back into it pretty soon. And yeah, so she'll be going for her new exhaust on the 18th of this month. And um, there's those two hoses that were close to the battery. Um, they're hydraulic lines that go to do to go into the front of the cooling for the transmission. Um, I've got to get those um, connected. So that's pretty much the last almost of what I have to do the engines that I can. Um, think of at the moment but yeah so we're getting back into this xg divi vans very 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 soon so thanks for watching and uh yeah keep uh checking the progress as we go hope uh all is well out there and thanks again for watching This must bring back some memories for you, doesn't it? So everybody that's grown up in Victoria Police have done time in the Div Van at some stage, so, so it does bring back memories about cruising around the street. What's, uh, what's better about this one? What makes this one good? 30 or 40 years ago, Div Vans were simply just uh, panel vans with cages in the back of them. Yeah. So over the years we've got better and better at what we do. There's a whole bunch of stuff around how do we, how we protect our members 
putting people in and getting them out safely. I noticed there's a better clearance too yeah. for, the, for the wheel. Yeah, well, I think in the old days I might have been guilty of running over a few gutters and curves and speed humps and I think that still happens. But yeah. if, we, if we look around at the cars that we own today, every car sits up higher. This gives our members a chance to sit up a bit higher and see over the traffic. And the other thing is that these things are easier to get in and out of. The doors the way they are, we can actually open them and get in yeah. and get our, get our gear out of the back, so it's really important for the troops. These are the frontline response truck. Yeah. So this, these do a lot of work, they, uh, they by all means they take prisoners around, but this is our first responder vehicle in most police stations. So the message is to Victorians, by all means admire them as they go past, but stay out of the back. Stay out of the back, out of the back. and they're not Uber and we won't be giving you a lift home. <laughs>